Welcome back everyone. We are here on the surface back in the world of dreamer a dreamer a dream high whatever how do you pronounce this it's weird dreamer primordial guys and today we have the uh, the resources to build a nether portal this is what we had gathered out last time some diamonds some obsidian and we're gonna try to build a nether portal and enter the nether portal. first up since we have obsidian and diamond i'm going to be crafting me an enchanting table so while i look up for the recipe guys i'm going to enchant some stuff maybe i think i enchant my brokers and a pickaxe because i really love an enchanted bow and infinity once i get infinity guys i'm so happy so I just wanted to introduce one of the things we've been using, we, one of the mods that we've been using in this mod pack. It's called Quark. Quark is an amazing mod. Quark is like, I don't know, I think it's the best mod out there, according to me. So it's not just, it doesn't add just one thing. It's like an, it's a whole Minecraft update in one. So it adds a bunch of vanilla stuff, it adds a bunch of blocks, it adds a bunch of, you know, you, useful items and it's like really vanilla really balanced stuff and i think it deserves its own spot and maybe just maybe mojang might include these into default minecraft on a later update who knows but these are really innovative stuff so the one of the things about quark is the crafting mechanism is totally overhauled i mean not the crafting mechanism the enchanting mechanism is totally overhauled so yes there is a level of randomness but it also depends on your grid you know how well will you like you can customize the enchants that you get so i'll be showing that here i'll be showing off the enchantment table so look at this we add the lapis into the lapis slot and we okay why did it say infuse i think the dremel mod pack changes the word enchant into infuse so you're in so guys i will try to be low friendly and low friendly you infuse this pickaxe with the enchantment and the flux in the environment adds to it so you use one experience or one level of experience to get like this tetris block so this tetris block might have efficiency or whatever enchantment usually so if you stack two of the same so i have an unbreaking and efficiency if you stack two of the same you can get one enchantment of the so now because i stacked two unbreaking one on top of the other i got unbreaking two so it works like that and i didn't need any bookshelves for it i know that might be a little game breaking according to some of you but guys i find it really interesting it's like i don't have to randomly craft uh, you know, I don't have to waste pickaxes to enchant stuff. I know what I'm getting. I know that might be a little OP. Yeah, uh, I agree. That's a bit broken from vanilla Minecraft. But isn't this a more intuitive way? Let me know in the comments, guys. Maybe you, you maybe you agree with me. Maybe you don't. I just find it's a little bit more intuitive than vanilla Minecraft. So we are here guys, this is the spot I plan out for my nether portal. So for those of you watching who don't know how to build a nether portal, it's really simple guys, you just need some obsidian and that's 4 obsidian for the base and then 5 obsidian blocks high. That's all you need. You don't really need to put in the corners but then some people do fill in the corners for the aesthetics of it. I will try to build a bigger nether portal later on but for now. I will have to do with this uh, like the smallest possible size one because I don't have enough obsidian. I hadn't carried them with me from the nether and I'm not even using the corner. So I have just the right amount of obsidian for another bottle. I mined out exactly 14 blocks that was enough for an enchantment table and the obsidian bottle itself. So let me go here and flick it open guys. You need a flint and steel and the portal is activated so 
So we are here guys inside the nether and wow we have appeared here in a basalt delta is it called basalt basalt how do you pronounce basalt anyway so we're here in a basalt delta it's pretty open we got some quartz right next to us i really need a lot of quartz because i'm going to be doing a shit ton of redstone wealth and i need a lot of quartz for the redstone for the quartz decorative stuff i really love quartz and the best thing about quartz is you get i whole bunch of xp when you mine it like uh you get more xp than killing monsters i think but in any case we'll be bu building a few xp farms soon for monsters like if you find a zombie spawner or if you find a skeleton spawner hopefully we'll be building a few farms in the in time but for now quartz blocks will be my go-to method of farming experience farming levels there's a thing about this map um, you find a few spawners in certain areas I know where a skeleton spawner is because I've played this map before at least I've played a little bit about it so I've played a little bit of the map so I do know where a skeleton spawner is we will be going there uh, after a few episodes and if you guys are playing along I'll be sharing the coordinates that's, it's pretty interesting if you guys are random spawners and look at me I just caught fire anyway so I once we find a few spawners I'll try to build farms around each and every spawner I'll, I will not be breaking any spawners I find if I do I'm gonna quit the let's play I'm gonna uninstall the game and I'm gonna be touching minecraft after that I just do okay. so let's carry on around the nether try to get some stuff or oh, let's just leave the nether for now because I'm already on fire Hello everyone, I am back again from the nether after spending the whole night trying to kill some monsters because my friends are not sleeping. I'm deciding to upgrade one of my bow skills. Having a bow on hand might just save your life. I noticed that bows are really effective against creepers. creepers. So creepers basically they do blast damage in the area around you. And having a good bow will definitely keep you alive around those creepers because there's the risk of mailing them. Well guys, as you can see my house is only partially built. The roof is still pending and I have a lot of roof left to go. So we'll be ending this episode with the house half finished and we'll be focusing finishing the house roof in the next episode. So guys, let me know in the comments. How I can improve on the house. I've been trying to watch some tutorials on getting better at building. But apparently, my building skills aren't that great. Hey, let's hope the longer series I do get better at building. Take care, guys. God bless. Bye.